compliment you on the heads up and uh, I will compliment Savannah on maybe a little bit of acting. But I mean, you saw that from a mile away and you wheeled her home, obviously. Uh, we just talked to Shelby and she says, you you are as prepared with your game as they are with theirs. And, and that is definitely a compliment that I saw play out today. Well, I, I didn't send Savannah, <laughs> but <laughs> I did see the obstruction. I was really trying to get the obstruction called when Savannah went home. And she misunderstood that, which is fine. Um, I mean, it really did work out. It was definitely obstruction. There was no question that that was there. So, um, you know, I wasn't trying to send her, but um, it worked out and it was a big momentum shift. Um, it was interesting to use the two challenges today. Um, it was very, like the strategy of it was difficult, it, like just because we'd never had it before, just knowing the right times and the right moments. But um, it was pretty cool to use them and, you know, to have the one turn out the way it did. Well, you just burst my whole bubble. I thought that was like a whole mastermind thing that you had that you had seen. You're like, well, I'll get the extra base and we'll send her. And if she's out, who cares? Well, um, we teach him that, you know, like we teach him that. Like if you have obstruction and you have an opportunity to take another base, you take it. Like we teach him that without question. So um, that's, you know, something that has been discussed before. Yeah. How, let's just start with the, the obvious, uh, good to get the first one under your belt. Yeah, no question. Um, we talked a lot about that before we left of just, you know, coming to win one game and going from there. So got one win and, you know, now we'll go for just trying to win one game tomorrow not tr trying to win the whole tournament. I mean, I told the team at practice, we're not going there to win the SEC tournament. They looked at me like I was crazy. Um, we're just going there to win one game. And I think if you try to take on this whole thing, tackle the 12 of the best teams in the whole country in four days, you're going to come up short all the time. But can we tackle one opponent each day? Yes, we can. So that's where we're at. Offensively, you know, 11 hits. You scored in four of your six uh, uh, innings. Uh, as you mentioned, I was a big lift uh, with the, uh, getting those runs in that inning, but you also answered their three run in, you know, you got a couple of runs to answer that home run. Uh, you had to be really happy with, uh, with what you saw offensively for the most part. I mean, Savannah Stewart uh, uh, and Shelby in, in particular. Yeah, I think both of those two young women were incredible today. I just love what we got from really both of them because I think it would have been easy to give in for either of them it would have been easy especially for Savannah Stewart to say well you know coach isn't going to play me I don't have that big a role so um you know I'm just going to wait till next year but she's never stopped working she's never takes a pitch off in the dugout she's one of the leaders of that dugout um I mean you watch her on Taylor Pleasant's grand slam last weekend and she has both knees up on the pad she's on top of the dugout screaming you know she's the champion of that so to see her have the success today was was so cool probably my favorite moment of the game um, and then Shelby Sinceri the same way I think it would have been easy for her to be frustrated but she's continued to put in the work and um, you know was able to make it count today I think the way the offense continued to score throughout the game was a big deal I think you know South Carolina could never really get their feet under them they could never really catch any momentum the way our team just continued to apply pressure throughout the game it was important and particularly you know, again, in the sixth inning, you had, you had two outs, and then Georgia and Raylene gave you, again, a kind of a little more breathing room. Without question. I think those runs are so important. I think it's a completely different bat in the seventh inning for them if they're chasing one or two runs, whereas they're chasing four, and then the mentality is completely different. So I think being able to keep the momentum like that, being able to keep the pressure on, was a big reason why we found success. Can you give me a Missouri preview? I got to run. <laughs> yes. Um, I mean, Missouri is a team with a huge offense, the best offense in the league. We did find some success against them during the regular season, um, but I'm sure they will come with a great plan. And, you know, we'll have to have one of our own short turnaround trying to prepare, but um, their game is, is a big power offense. What maybe one exception uh, of the, the home run, I mean, you had to be pretty happy. Shelby had a shutout going into the fifth and then, uh, you know, Allie came in behind her uh, just, just talking about, I guess, Shelby really giving you a strong effort. Shelby did exactly what we needed her to do. I think she's so brave when she takes them out for us. You know, it was important to be the first one out there this weekend. I think she went out there like a veteran. She went out there, you know, as a person that's been in the spot before and, you know, was able to do her job. I think it's really important that she gave us this performance. It's always tough to get that first one and kind of get your team going. And she did that.